Hi, I'm Jennifer Sir. Welcome to the Sewing Room and our Jobs in Fashion series. Today, it's just me, no interviews, but we're going to talk about something that's, um, it's. I think it's really interesting, uh, it, that are sewing jobs. So um, I used to sew professionally. I made wedding gowns and um, I had a business making wedding gowns for about five years. It was fantastic. I did most of the sewing myself. I had a little help in the beginning, but I did most everything myself. And um, I was just thinking recently, because now that I have the sewing room, which is a different kind of business, and we can get into what that, how that came to be sometime later, but um, we get asked a lot to do custom sewing work. And so I thought today I would just talk about, I would talk about sewing jobs. And um, a lot of us seem to think that everything happens overseas, but there's a ton, a ton of work, a ton of sewing work that actually happens just in your own hometown. So let's start from the beginning. So the first thing that happens a lot here is people come in and ask for alterations or repairs. So that's one field that I think there's so much need for because people have clothing and they want to get it fixed or tailored to their size. Um, people gain weight and lose weight and they, they want to have their clothes altered. They don't necessarily want to go buy a whole new wardrobe. So that is one market that is huge. And if I had a dollar for everybody who walked in here asking me if I did alterations, I would be a rich woman because <laughs> people come in every single day. And they call me too. I get calls all the time because I have a sewing related business. Um, the other thing is, is people reach out to me and ask if any of my students would like to have sewing jobs, <laughs> which I think is interesting because it it's not it's not easy to find sewers these days. So I'm saying it right now. Get good at your sewing, and you can you could work for sure. Um, so dance costumes. Someone came to me and said they had a bespoke dance costume company, a very small um, custom business, and they needed help assembling the costumes. These were the kind for, I think, um, dance performances. So people would purchase the costumes, have them custom made. Um, the same thing with ice skating costumes. With, in the performing world, there's lots of opportunity for custom work. And then this one is particularly interesting for people who live in coastal areas or near rivers. <laughs> and that would be canvas products for boats. So I got approached by a canvas company looking for sewers who were interested in sewing for their company. They actually had lots of great benefits um, and the, the pay per hour was really good. And these people make um, custom canvas products for boats. So they're making, they're not making sails, but they're making cushions and drapes and all sorts of things for people's um, boats. So very interesting, I thought. Uniforms, there are lots of domestic uniform companies. Um, so if you can actually alter uniforms or that exist already or create create uniforms from scratch. So that's something to look for in your neck of the woods. Um, custom bridal, like I said, I had a bridal business before. And um, when I started out, I did, I did nearly everything. I eventually hired someone to help me with um, machine embroidery and beading, but I did all the other sewing. So if you like fancy sewing and fancy fabrics, custom bridal might be the thing for you. You should know though, that it's a little bit stressful. Working with brides is a little bit stressful and you can't do, well, I couldn't do a ton of them at the same time. And it was a huge investment in my time period, in my time. And also um, emotionally, it was, it was an investment as well. Um, let's see, bridal alterations. When I was first doing custom bridal, I also did bridal alterations and it's something that requires a lot of skill because you have to be able to take a dress apart and then put it back together. Um, but if you like to do that and you'd like to make things fit really well, this could be a totally wonderful job for you because people need their wedding gowns altered. 
and they spend a lot of money to have them altered. I would, I would charge quite a bit because, because of the stress, because of the, the commitment that I was making to cleanliness, you have to be very clean. You don't want to get anything on that white dress. Um, and it's a highly skilled job. So something to think about. Um, shoe repair is another thing. There's a huge need for a really good shoe repair person. And they utilize lots of different um, sewing machines that are specifically geared towards shoes. I had no idea that you could put a new zipper in a pair of boots. And I did that recently. I had it done. It was amazing. So the only thing about um, that is it's a very hard field to get into. So you, what you want to do is you want to find a good cobbler and see if you can intern with them or apprentice with them for a while. So this is just a small portion of the sewing jobs available out there. Um, like I was saying earlier, doing alterations or even repairs on things. If you can do that, um, I think you would have a great business. A friend of mine has a niche in the bridal industry where she mainly focuses on um, restoring vintage wedding gowns or incorporating uh, a vintage family heirloom gown into someone else's gown. And she also does other kinds of restoration work when it comes to vintage veils and uh, working with uh, dolls and things like that. It's very niche, but it totally is her entire business. So something to think about when you're thinking about getting into a sewing job, um, there's all different kinds of sewing out there. I mean, virtually everything we touch that's soft has been sewn together that bag sewn together, that dress sewn together, my shoes sewn together. It is amazing. So um, I just wanted to, to sort of come out and say like, that is something you should think about if you're interested in having a job um, doing your sewing. I think there's plenty of need out there for domestic sewers and hopefully manufacturing will come back to the U.S. And we'll be doing more manufacturing here once again. So <laughs> until next time, I'm Jennifer Sir. This is the Sewing Room and our jobs in fashion series. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. It really helps us out. And if you're interested in learning more about our sewing school at The Sewing Room, please visit our website at thesewingroomalameda.com. Thanks.